Good Friday morning, Mount Olive family, friends of Mount Olive, all you who have uh, taken the time to tune in and watch another Friday devotion. As I always say, I appreciate each one of you for for doing that. Appreciate the kind words when I see you out that uh, you do like these. And we just pray, as I always say, we pray that they help you in your walk with the Lord. I'm going to share my screen with you. Okay, let me uh, move myself out of the way here. I borrowed this slide from the pastor's PowerPoint, uh, Facing the Giants, the Lord is with thee. Now, he continued his series, uh, Facing the Giants, this past Sunday, and his focus topic for his this message was the power of the anointing for 1 Samuel uh, 1737. And uh, so he... Uh, he talked about the power and the presence of the Lord. And he used uh, uh, 1 Samuel, as I said, 17.37 as his verse. Let's look at that verse. It says, David said, uh, moreover, saying to Saul, the Lord hath delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear. He will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, go and the Lord be with thee. Now, pastor gave the background leading up to this verse, and most of us know the story, but I want to focus on the why of David's involvement of, in all this. Now, from the past devotions on this series, we know that Saul had sinned and he had disobeyed God. And because of his sin, God told Samuel to go to Jesse's house and anoint David. And as soon as he anointed uh, David, something happened. Let's read those verses. 1 Samuel 16 uh, 16 verses 13 through 14 it said then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren and the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward so Samuel rose up and went to Ramah then verse 14 says but the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him now, David is now the anointed one of Israel, and he goes down to the battle, and he sees and hears all that's going on with Goliath, and he has a totally different thought and action than all the other men, including King Saul. The others are afraid, and they're cowering in their tents while the Goliath comes out and curses Israel and curses God. But David, full of the anointing, is willing to fight this giant. Now, let's read uh, 1 Samuel 17, 26. It says, and David spake uh, to the men that stood by him, saying, what shall be done to the man that killed this Philistine and taketh away the reproach from uh, Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Unlike Saul, who had lost the spirit of, of God, David, who is full of the spirit of God, is willing to fight this giant who is attacking not just God's army, but God himself. Now, David is ready to put a stop to all this. And that's uh, 1 Samuel 17, 32. David said unto Saul, let no man's heart fail because of him. Thy servant will go and fight with his Philistine. So David's telling Saul, you know, all these other, don't, you know, don't worry. I will go and fight with this Philistine. And Saul tells David that he's just a boy and he doesn't stand a chance against Goliath. But, uh, but uh, David replies, in 37, David said, Moreover, the Lord hath delivered me out of the paw of the lion and out of the paw of the bear, and he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said unto David, Go, and the Lord be with thee. Now David said, The Lord was with him then, during the, when the bear and the lion was there, and the Lord be with me now with Goliath. And the underline Saul's response. Uh, the Bible doesn't say, but this is just John's belief, I believe that Saul knew that God was with this young man and that God would go with him into the battle. And Pastor TJ says, sometimes we Christians go into battle against our giants, much like Saul, instead of being like the anointed David. We go into it headlong and we lose every time. But if we will seek God and pray for his guidance and protection, then we can be a victor instead of a victim. And Pastor TJ said, it's the same anointing so in your battle with your giant, are you a Saul or a David? That's my devotion for today. Uh, I 
pray. Hopefully, uh, we'll get to see you on Sunday. Uh, you be much in prayer for uh, uh, Pastor TJ as he brings a message uh, that whoever might come, that, that they would see their need for a Savior. If they've never been saved before or if they've drawn cold on the Lord, they'll renew that that uh, that that spirit that's that's there waiting for them, uh, and be a David instead of a Saul. Love each one of you. We'll see you on Sunday.